poltergeists, uh, they love to do little things. Yeah. You know, we're not painting with broad strokes here. We're not slitting open your cat's throat in the middle of the night. It's like, you need to stop using metaphors on this episode. You've gone quite far enough. All of your analogies have, have, have been wildly misplaced and proved such a bad point. So just, I ban you from this now. You have to just say normal sentences. I feel like I'm being persecuted <laughs> this like, is wild. Like, like a person who stole a loaf of bread. Stop using analogies. Just say, just right. say a normal sentence. What I'm trying to say is... Just say what it is. Say what you want to say in English. It's like... No, it's not like something. Okay, it is. Say sorry. what it is. It's such autopilot for me to use analogies. It's almost like... Don't say what it's like. Don't okay. say you're using yeah, an analogy yeah. oh, I did it again, to describe didn't I? analogies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think just let's go with the script. Let's hear about some of this crazy evidence. Let's hear about it. Just one last one. Just to... This is like the Enfield haunting on friggin' drugs. It's like, so unnecessary. like, don't switch off. Don't switch off is what <laughs> so I'm trying to say. Just because there's that sounds worse. ghosts. Yeah, it kind of does. Worse. And let's check down here. They say the ghost of Edward Clark. They say the ghost of Edward Clark. They say the ghost of Edward Clark hangs out. Mm. They say the ghost of Edward Clark. Edward Clark. Edward Clark. Stay your time, man. It's fine. You don't have to rush it or anything. I <laughs> can't be bothered. <laughs> Like, <laughs> they say the ghost of Edward. Can you stop looking at me? I'm Look just, away, <laughs> because you, because you are you. You tell me I can't make an analogy. Well, that's my whole shit. <laughs> that's my whole shit. And if I don't have that, I guess I can't even read a line anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's just saying a guy's name. It's really not that. Edward Clark. I can't say it. <laughs> Work. <laughs> I feel like I would be able to say it if I was just allowed a little analogy. I think that's a character from a Star Wars movie. <laughs> Eckwork Clark. Just take your time. We're in no rush. You can do it slowly if you want. It's fine. Okay, I'll try that. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Let's check down here. That's a bit slow. I think you're speeding that up. Why are you interrupting me? We can speed it up in post, motherfucker. You told me to do it slow, and it's actually really helping. <laughs> okay. They say the ghost of Edward. Fuck. <laughs> you said it wrong. Fuck. Slow, you said it wrong. I think I just have to go slower. Edward. <laughs> Fuck. Don't. I can't say this. Goddamn. Let's check down here. They say the ghost of Edward Clark hangs out down here. <laughs> he was laughing at the time. <laughs> yeah, was he? Are you sure? He was the first to own the building. I guess it's a no. I guess it's a no. Just simply on the basis of a lack of physical evidence. I'm sorry to say, but there's a bit of star power about the whole thing. When we've got people who have nothing to lose and are trying to get a book deal about a ghost they saw that jacked them off in bed. Again, this is why I told you to stop doing analogies and metaphors. Then it's hard to believe those people. But if you've got... Uh, and I've already forgotten the point you're trying to make. If you talked about a dude getting jacked off by a ghost. But if you've something got, so irrelevant to the original point of what you were trying to say. If you've got Antonio Banderas himself saying he saw the wig man. Antonio doesn't need to see the wig man. What Antonio is this? has no book to sell. Antonio has no vested interest in believing in the paranormal. So if he says he sees a UFO, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> That was the wildest sentence I've maybe ever heard on this podcast. I don't know where the picture on that. God damn it. I, I'm losing the listeners. I'm losing Rory. I'm losing my goddamn mind because I can't get a yes over here, even when I hand up a, a double yes on a platter. Uh, how to describe the Patreon? It's kind of like uh, imagine if a ghost jacked you off. Imagine if you dropped Sounds your trousers good. and a yeah. ghost jacked you off. That's just a metaphor that I think. Yeah, that's what I call around. bonus content, brother. Because <laughs> you didn't see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> See you coming. <laughs>